Okay. So today I'm gonna show you all how I made my third person controller. Uh this is gonna be used in the mobile game that I am working on. For the most part, I'm not gonna go into step by step what each line of code means. What I'm gonna do is just attach the code to the description um, of this video. And then I'm gonna just about go over the summary of what each script will do and how it interacts with each other. I'm also gonna show you all where to get your animations. Um, if you haven't done them before, if this is your first time working on a controller. And I'm also going to just give you a few different things you need to set up in your settings and on your inspector panel of your player just so that you can make sure that everything works correctly. The first thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I have my input system. So you first can go to package manager and you will see something in the Unity, Unity, Unity registry called input systems. You want to make sure that you got that installed. Then the next thing you need to do is uh, create a input action map. So this is mine right here. It'll look something like this. If you haven't done one before, you would just need to right click and go to create and then you should be able to find input systems. Yep, you should find something that says input actions right there. Now, once you get one created, you wanna make sure that you have this generate C-sharp class uh, checked off. This is gonna be able to help you um, look at the code that you created when you do your action maps. So, for example, if I click on this right here, uh, all of these actions right here, these inputs, is going to be shown on this player controls because it's attached when I just made that check mark. So, where is it? Not this one. Oh, yes, it is. So, all of this stuff right here is what the input action map is, it's just in um, code. So as you see, I created my inputs for the game by first doing the input actions and you can just always create an action like that and it's gonna be able to um, give you a name that you can call your inputs. So for my bindings, what I first did was I created a, a binding like this right here and I clicked on up, down, left, right, composite. Now this is gonna help you with your gamepad. And then this one right here, the bottom is just gonna be, you know, whenever you're using something on the keyboard. So let me delete this. All right, so it's gonna be the WASD. If you guys don't know what WASD is, W-A-S-D. Um, w is gonna make you move forward. S is gonna have you move down. Um, a is going to help you move left and D is going to help you move right. Now, if you want to have a joystick uh, connected to the game, all you need to do is just add the inputs that was that would be related to your game pad. So it's just that simple. It's not really too difficult. You just create the, um, the game pad inputs. And just make sure that you have in your binding properties that it's a 2D vector and the mode is analog. For your um, actions, make sure that your um, action properties is pass through and vector two. While I'm over here, I might as well go into detail and talk to you about the other inputs that we have. Um, before we go into the game, it's just overall for you to know how to have these settings kind of put together. So camera is um, something that we're gonna use in the game that's gonna be able to follow the player. Um, it's going to have collision detection so it won't just clip through walls. And also it's going to be able to rotate whenever you move your joysticks. So that's why we uh, put this as an input action. And you use this right here, Delta, as your binding property. And right stick is just going to help you rotate the camera.
all right so that's really it i think for the input actions for the player movement but also for the player action so player movement is going to be more so for your locomotion but the player action is going to be for something like if you want to sprint um i use b on my joystick and i also use the shift key on the keyboard if you don't have a joystick i have jump um, i'm using the space on my keyboard and i'm also using um the y button on my joystick and x is just going to help me do my dodges whenever um you know if, if i'm fighting the enemy and i want to do a dodge then i just press x um on the keyboard or i press x on my on my joystick which is the button with gamepad okay so it's really just a, a few things that you need to really pay attention to everything else is just stuff that i'm um having my game that i'm working on but first thing is the um, player itself. You want to make sure that your player is a humanoid character, which you'll see right there. Sometimes they come in as generic. You just want to make sure that it's humanoid. And when you do that, it's going to be able to create a avatar for you to be able to walk around. It's going to have something like this that attached to it. So once you get in there, Make sure that you have your an animator with that avatar connected to it whatever avatar is connected to your model um make sure that you have a rigid body as you see down here for the rigid body settings i have uh use gravity and i have a uh, freeze rotation on the x y and z that's going to help with the camera and it rotating and um, also just being able to connect with the player so you also have an input manager. This is just going to read um, certain values back out to you as the player move. Um, I'll go into detail about that once I show you all the scripts. This is your player locomotion. This is going to help you move around. Um, the player manager is just what's the functionality, the controller that's going to help you uh, connect the buttons with the actual uh, gameplay. Do you have a capsule collider? Make sure that your capsule colliders for your player, you press this, you can be able to turn on and off um, certain gizmos. Make sure that you have one that's covering the feet a little bit so that he won't just go into the ground. And then you have the animate, animator manager, which controls all of the animations. I also have a camera now. I don't have cinema machine cameras, um, at least for right now. I'm just trying to get everything started with the basics. So as you see, I have a game object that's called camera manager, and I have this script right here attached to it, which I'll also add to um, the zip folder in the description. So I'm going to go into just detail, um, just a summary over all of these different scripts that these were the ones that I used to make the game. Everything else is kind of the normal stuff. Just know with the camera, you want to have a target follow that you're going to be able to put uh, in the script. I should put it in here. It's, it's going to go right. It's going to go right here. I don't know. It's not going to go right there. Anyways. Um, I don't necessarily need it. I think I just added it. I was trying to work on something. But, okay. One thing that you want to do when you are working on the player is you want to make sure that the animator is set up with a blend tree. So, what I want to do is get out of this, go back to my base layer, and right here I have a blend tree you can just do something like this create blend tree and then here is where I have 
my animations and these are the values that I've used just so he can do basic stuff like walk and run and sprint it's not nothing too complex right now it's just basic uh, moving around the games um these are the animations I got I got these from Mixamo if you haven't heard of that I'll show you the website bring it over here if I can Yep. so this is the website Mixamo and you just come in here and you find you different animations that you want um like for example walking and you just find one of those you put it in place download make sure that it is for unity and that's it you just do that once you get them downloaded you can just drag them in your game and they'll pop up like this right here the same way your regular uh, player popped up and you just switch this over to humanoid and sometimes you have to put a uh, loop time on the animation it just all depends on what type of animation it is for something like a breathing idle you want him to keep doing that instead of just breathing idle for maybe 10 seconds and just stopping so you want to have loop time on there another thing that I had was for my uh, another layer was the override and all this did was if I have something that's not necessarily locomotion let's say it's a um, an action like jumping falling um, laying down or or dodging I used a different layer for that for the landing you want to make sure that you check off foot IK if you don't um, he's just gonna start floating around now one thing that I did do that was probably gonna um, it was kind of new but I had to learn how to do it was using this reset bull it's like something that connects with the state machine matter of fact I'll show it to you guys right here So this is the reset bull. Now the primary purpose of the reset bull class is to control a specific parameter in the animator when entering a particular animation state. So it's a lot easier, for example, if you were um, doing something in your locomotion, but you need to go ahead and you need to land or you need to jump, something like that, it's gonna automatically reset and help you get your new animation put in instead of you trying to wait until that first animation is over with. So, this is just an overview of the different scripts that I used in the game. The first one is going to be my player controls. So, this script is a robust framework for handling player inputs in Unity. So, like I mentioned earlier, this is what's going to be used just whenever you create your action map. It automatically has this stuff popped up in there reset jumping it's going to be similar to the reset bull um you just have to it's just one of those things where it'll stop whatever you're doing and put this jump animation in if you are maybe jumping off a cliff or if you are kind of falling off or something this this script right here will be able to help you out this is the camera manager like i mentioned this is going to be used to help you with um with your camera collisions for example if the camera tries to clip into the walls uh, this method right here would be able to help prevent that this is the method for rotating the camera and this right here is going to follow the target it's going to help you whenever you follow you whenever you're running around the camera is going to be following you everywhere you go and this right here is just to activate the input managers and all the different components that I have on the player just so that everything can work correctly this right here is my animator um, it has all the different animations set up in here the different times how you can um, blend the animations together so it won't be all snappy this is where you'll be able to find that information this is the input manager 
This is something that we created to be able to work with the um, with the joystick or the keyboard, being able to help you, you know, walk around or run or jump, anything like that. It's going to be used in the input manager class. Now you have the player manager. So the input manager, it helps with the um, defining what these inputs is going to be. And then player managers helps you connect them all with what you have in your animator. And then this is the last one. This is locomotion. Um, it connects everything that you have on your um, game object, like your player manager, your input manager, the rigid body, the animation manager. As you see these variables up here, it controls your falling, uh, the layer mask. It lets the controllers know if you're sprinting, if you're grounded, if you're jumping. So all of this stuff right here, the speed, the um, locomotion speed, I mean, all of this stuff right here can be controlled in the player locomotion. Even the dodge method down here, if you want to be able to dodge back and try not to get hit by your enemies, all of this is available in the player locomotion. And just to show you that it works, I'm going to play the game and I'm going to show you how it works with my joystick. So that's the camera I have. I'm using the joystick to rotate them around. When I walk um, to 0 0.5, like if I slightly press the joystick, you will see that it is slow. Uh oh. But if I go all the way to one, it'll start pressing the running animation. Um, if I press Y, it'll jump and if I press X he'll be able to try to dodge so so far uh, this is the controller that I have it's still a little buggy um, later on I'm just gonna work on it to improve it a little bit more and I'm gonna start adding um, some combat systems as well so Hope you guys found this video informative. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And um, I will continue to make more devlogs um, of the progress in the future. Thanks.